All right. So my first knife that I was issued in the SEAL teams, other than the Mark I Motto Navy dive knife that we used in Buds, was this SOG right here. Uh, you can tell it's pretty old, had a rubber band that's uh, <laughs> taken some abuse over the years. It's about to fall apart, but uh, I kept it like this for nostalgia purposes, and I don't want to lose it. So um, look at that. There it is right there. And it was so cool to get a SOG because some of you will remember this. Remember growing up in the 80s and probably into the 90s, but the uh, U.S. Cavalry Magazine. Remember that one? Um, and it would have all this cool stuff in there that uh, that I couldn't afford. But uh, like this watch right here, the Chronosport UDT timer. And if anybody knows where one of these is new in box, I'm searching for one. So direct message me if you can find it. Do you remember what movie uh, this was featured in in the 80s? Mm. Uh, but anyway, looking for that. But in that same magazine, there was all sorts of cool, awesome stuff. And one of those things was a SOG knife. And I remember the first one was a commemorative edition for Army Special Forces. And then either the next year or maybe two years later, another one appeared next to that in that magazine. And that was a SEAL version. And it looked similar, but with a, a couple little differences. I think it was called the Trident. It's, uh, it's been a, a couple of years now since 19... 86, 87, 88, whenever that was, uh, but very cool. And so this is the one I was issued when I got to my first team. And then soon thereafter, we got the seal pup and I have had a bunch of these over the years. And, uh, so right there, seal pup. So that was actually a great size to, uh, to use. So this was pretty, pretty popular with people back in the day, but, uh, yeah, so a few of those. So what was very cool is that Sog sent me some blades to try out. Awesome. So I figured I'd open them right here. So I should probably use a SOG to open a SOG and see what, uh, see what they sent. So very cool. You guys know that I'm a fan of the blade. Let's see here. Nice. Ah, very cool. Yeah. So I think this guy is coming with me on a hunt soon. Um, and by the time this drops, I might actually be on that hunt, but, uh, that is nice. Look at that. Very cool. Which is oh, all the pillar. Yeah. L L A R. So yeah, this one's coming to Alaska. I'm going to give this thing a run out in the back country. So Sog, thank you so much for sending this. And, uh, what else, what else do we have here? This guy right here. Let's check it out. Oop. Maybe I can just open it without cutting. Here we go. See what this is. Nice. And I jumped on the website and checked a few things out here before opening. And let's see, I don't want to mess this up too much. But uh, made in the USA. So that is that makes me happy. Oh, yeah. This is actually one of the ones that I saw on the website that uh, intrigued me. So look at this. Nice. Ooh, that's nice and light. Check that out. Yeah. So this one's going to come with me as well. And that's going to go in my pocket. That is nice. Look at that. Sweet color too. But uh, yeah, so I'll be check. I'll be taking this one and that one into the back country for sure. And then what is this one here? Let's check this out. Oh, nice. Maybe this one's coming too. Well, I'll, I'll decide which, uh, which clip blades coming with me. Nice. Look at that. I like the orange on hunts these days because when you put it down in the middle of the night, when you have your headlamp on and you're uh, field dressing an animal, um, a little easier to find than the super tactical ones. So uh, very cool. That is awesome. Very cool. Look at that. Bam. Sog, thank you so much for sending these along. I am uh, fired up to give them a run in the backcountry here very soon.